G'day guys, thought I'd do another quick video of, pardon me, I'm sucking on a uh, cough lolly as well, got a bad throat, about um, servo stoppers um, used on touring cars, which actually help hold the, um, basically the servo in place on the actual mounts that are supplied. Now there's a lot of servos on the market that uh, have aluminium cases which don't need these little items. But there are still servos that are on the market that do need these to stop the actual uh, ears on the servo breaking. They're made by a couple, a couple of companies. One is Radtech, if you can see there. They make a nice little black one. It suits about maybe 80% of the servos on the market. It doesn't suit some with very tight ears. But what it is, is just a machined, uh, look, you could call it a stepped collar or a stepped... Um, shim that goes into the ear of the servo, just trying to hold it there so you can see it. See a little step there on that one? Now this takes a little countersunk screw on to actually hold it in place. It's for servos that have plastic gears like uh, Futaba servos and some others, not uh, metal cases. What you do with these, they actually just sit in that point there. When the screw goes through, what happens is that actually clamps down onto the actual bracket for the actual, uh, that the cars are actually uh, supplied with. So what it is, it's a clamping arrangement. It actually doesn't spread the ears to actually break these, which is a big problem on some servos. That's the one that's made by Radtech. <coughs> Available locally, all good hobby shops, myself included. And there's another one which is, <coughs> pardon me, made by Titan, similar sort of format. This one though is a little bit bigger on the actual clamping surface so it tends to work really good um, if you find you need something to be a little bit more solid. Great on 1 8 cars, especially if you're using a servo with a uh, plastic ear on it. Uh, mind you, they should all be alloy these days because it's a lot, lot stronger. But I'll grab one of these out and show you. Okay, that's it there. Okay, as you can see, it's alloy, but this one uses just a flathead, nothing special. But what you do with this particular one is it's got more surface to actually clamp it down onto the actual, uh, well, basically onto the uh, bracket that the, um, uh, what would you call it, uh, where it goes onto the bracket on the steering for the car. <coughs> Pardon me, oh, trying to get this cough away, it's really good. Great stuff for disease, anti-colis, brilliant stuff. I won't show you me sucking on a lolly though. Now these things, when they actually go into the actual servo and use a flathead screw, it again, same deal, it clamps it down tight up against the actual um, bracket that it mounts on or the servo post. So there's no chance of it moving. And the biggest, best part about it is it stops these ears spreading if you use say a flathead or a can or just a button head screw it needs to fill that void to make sure that there's no movement and that's the best best how would you call it uh option you have available on all servos these days especially the ones still with um, plastic, uh, plastic ears now when you look at say servos that are not plastic eared and they are actually metal like the uh, team powers uh, dcs all metal cased, uh, high torque, high speed, um, you find that the actual ears are um, alloyed. Now with these, you don't need to run the servo blocks. You can if you wanted to, it just gives it more placement so there's less chance of it moving if you tend to hit something. Or you can use a countersunk. Now you will not split that using the countersunk tax to make sure that it centers properly on the, uh, on the actual uh, servo posts on the car. So that's a couple of uh, different ways, especially on touring cars to make sure that there's no chance of this moving if you tend to have a knock when you're driving or that or you know that type of arrangement good for other cars as well like off-road tend to, you tend to get a lot of force in your steering it tends to move the servo around these little these little blighters will actually work really really good whether it be this type for a countersunk or this type for a flathead consider them they're really good um, it's something that uh, a, a top rated mod driver, mod driver didn't know about about three years ago uh, until I actually introduced it to him and now he swears by them so you know even the uh, established drivers out there some that didn't know about these items 
uh, are finding out and you know everyone's catching on to them they do make a difference in your car more positive more direct steering tends to be a lot better on the servo as well and you save especially on the uh, plastic cases saves you breaking these damn things hope that helps you if you've got a question give us a buzz take care